Mr. Flanagan. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Little in Ireland recently announced they were going to pay the living wage to its workers. I uh, thought that was fantastic news. I uh, was wondering would they extend it to the people who worms and produce pretty much everything that they sell. I asked them on Twitter, but they haven't got back to me yet. So obviously Little are going to pay a living wage to the people who work in the shops selling the produce, but after that, well, go to hell. They should have it as a new slogan, little, go to hell if you're a farmer. And we need something to change that. How we change it, it's a difficult one. It's not that simple. I found it interesting that uh, the Commission representative said that farmers should increase sustainability and efficiency. Well, any increases in efficiency in the past have got gobbled up. So, okay, fine, farmers should increase their efficiency. What do we do then to make sure that they keep that margin, that bit extra to survive on? Because at the moment, the way things are going, if they became, farmers became so efficient that their costs were zero, you can be guaranteed that the supermarkets would be looking to buy it, actually be looking to charge them to take it off them because you've got to get less than what it costs you. That seems to be the rule. And we need to change something to do that. Uh, we constantly, we hear about Ryanair and how they're too big and how they weren't allowed, allowed for example, to buy Aer Lingus in Ireland because they have too much of the market share. But of course, when it comes to Tesco's in Ireland and it comes to Lidl and across Europe, there doesn't seem to be a problem with that. We can't do that. We can't regulate it. But we can for one and we can for the other. I don't understand why we can do it in one area and we can't in the other. Maybe you can explain it to me. Um, MEP Agnew, uh, I'm one of those Irish MEPs. Uh, I'm not exactly puffing my chest out with pride today at uh, uh, our country's beggar thy neighbour policy of uh, getting investment into our country. I am of the opinion that the EU should mind its own damn business, but I think we should make up our own mind. And if we were making up our own mind, and we were a sovereign state, and I had anything to do with it, I wouldn't adopt a beggar thy neighbour policy, because it might work in the short term. And OK, diplomacy with your neighbours, they're not exactly always your friends. It's always you've got to fight over these things. But there's one thing for sure. We are making lots of enemies. And after a while, that's going to cost us. So what do I think? Well, we shouldn't wait for Big Brother to slap us on the wrist to do the right thing. We should do the right thing because it's right.